Hello everyone, welcome back to Technique and today we're going to talk about the performance testing of the new iQ Neo 7 Pro. Now iQ Neo 7 Pro is a really good mid-range device announced in India and this device comes with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. This is the powerful chip or rather the flagship chip for last year and we have already seen a few devices launch with this chip. Now one of them is the, uh, the OnePlus 11R which gave a really great performance. Now we have the iQ Neo 7 Pro again with uh, the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chip and the variant which we have right now is a 12 gigabyte ram variant with 256 gigabyte storage it has lpddr5 ram and ufs 3.1 storage so that should make it a really great device in terms of performance but let's see how good are the experiences so we'll be doing the performance testing we'll be doing the cpu throttling test uh, the stress test and to do benchmark and the geekbench test to see how good the performance is and how stable the performance is so before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's do the performance testing of the iQ Neo 7 Pro. Let's start the performance testing of this device with the first app. This is the CPU throttling test. So we have installed the app and let's uh, start the test and see how much uh, uh, of uh, the uh, CPU throttling it does uh, with uh, uh, this test and you can see that the battery is now 99 percentage uh, we'll start the test and uh, let's see uh, how the CPU throttling test comes up So now uh, we have done the CPU throttling test and you can see the value here CPU throttle to 88 percentage of its max performance which is quite good I would say and uh, you can see that the max value 329 average value is 311 and the minimum is 275 so throttling is around 88 percentage so you can see a very stable in terms of uh, uh, the uh, CPU performance so uh, the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 did a quite good job here so that was a throttling test and you can also see that uh, this uh, uh, the battery drain was from 99 percentage it came down to 93 percentage so around 6 percentage drop in 15 minute throttling test let's also look at the, the temperature so you can see here no temperature rise as such you can see here this is a kind of okay temperature not not a major increase 35 degrees so that's the temperature so uh, next uh, let's go to the stress test uh, and the wildlife uh, stress test and see how good the performance is on this device so next uh, let's start with the wildlife uh, extreme uh, stress test you can see here this wildlife extreme uh, stress test so let's start with this test so this is around 20 rounds of uh, testing and let's see how stable this device is so uh, we just started uh, the wildlife extreme stress test so one out of 20 so 20 rounds of uh, testing is there So wildlife uh, extreme uh, stress test uh, gets a value of around 60% stability. Best loop score is 2856 and lowest loop score is 1715. So you can see here the different loops and uh, uh, the stress test and the performance range everything. You can see that the battery temperature, battery came down from 93 to 84%. So around 9% drop and temperature uh, went up to 34 degrees. Frame rate is 8 FPS to 21 FPS. So everything you can see uh, in this. So stress test uh, around 60 percentage. It's a decent score, I would say. Uh, so that's the wildlife extreme stress test on the iQ uh, Neo 7 Pro. So next uh, is uh, the uh, Antutu benchmark score. We are tested with Antutu benchmark version 10, and you can see here 13 lakh 7216 is the value for iQ Neo 6. And you can see that uh, the GPU score is incredible actually and uh, the other values are uh, the CPU, uh, the memory score and the UX score. So it's a really good and powerful chip uh, with uh, more than 1.3 million in terms of Antutu benchmark score. Now next uh, let's also see the storage test. It's had, it has uh, UFS uh, 3.1 uh, storage support and also LPDDR5 RAM. So you can see this is the storage test with a really good score. Almost close to 80,000 is the uh, 
CP or rather the storage test. So that was the storage test. And finally, let's go to the Geekbench 6 test. So let's uh, run the Geekbench test and uh, we'll see the final results. But now we have the Geekbench 6 uh, CPU benchmark result. Now you can see here single core score is 1743 and multi core score is 4489, which is pretty good actually. And uh, you can uh, see uh, this uh, the cores, uh, the multiple cores, and 12 gigabyte RAM. So that's the Geekbench 6 results on the uh, or other of the uh, IQ Neo 7 Pro. So that is the performance testing of the IQ Neo 7 Pro. You can see that this is the variant which we tested a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and Android 13, and uh, you can see that 12 gigabyte RAM. So, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.